Okay, you'll notice that my screen's a little different. You're actually seeing the normal background. And the reason for this is we're going to go through something really cool that Renewed, Re Renewed Vision has added into the background and see if I can show you how to do this live. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the quick uh, spotlight search window that's command space on a Mac. Now I'm going to bring up terminal. If you already have terminal in your dock, you don't have to do this. You can just go to terminal. But I'm going to bring up terminal and here we see the bash shell and this is what I want you to paste in exactly as you see it. So I'm going to leave this in the show notes for this tutorial as well. You won't need to do this on uh, versions um, after a certain point in ProPresenter 6, but up until this point, this is what you want to type in. Defaults, space, write, space, com, dot, renewed vision, dot, capital P, R O capital P R E S E N T E R six space capital R capital V capital S H O W capital A L L capital C A P S capital O P T I O N space true. So you'll copy that from the show notes below the video and paste that in here and then hit enter or return depending on what keyboard you're using and you should see no difference whatsoever. That's to be expected. So let me go ahead and we're going to launch ProPresenter 6. Uh, again, I'm doing this in 720p even though my monitor is a little larger. You'll see right now that there's nothing here uh, basically Let's get out of this and I'll show you how I got there. So we're in this. I'm going to right click, go to edit slide. Then I click on a slide and uh, in the text field, click on this little A and that gives me all these options. You'll now see though that what wasn't there before is now and that is the all caps. So I can check that and uncheck it. So in no time at all, actually looks like I had a misspelling there. So in no time at all, that can become uh, caps versus not caps. So that's a, a pretty cool little feature there. And I can go through and I can just change that on some versus the others. So you can see how that can be very helpful if your worship leader decides now we're going to do all caps. And so that's pretty cool. Let's see, actually, I don't know this, so this is my first time playing with this, if I can do that in multiple slides. So if I can, no, it looks like I'll have to go through each slide one at a time, but one checkbox having highlighted it is a much faster way to do this. I'm told that in Pro 7 this is going to be built in and less of a hack, but this is a way to do it in Pro 6, which as I'm recording this May 2016, this is a pretty cool way to do this, adding to the list of ways to get text into all caps in ProPresenter 6.